back. So today I'm going to be doing a video based off a subscriber recommendation. They wanted to see what mods I have on the bike. I don't have that many right now. I do have some on the way. I'll be going over those also, but I'm going to show you what I got right now. All right. So we're going to start from the front and work our way back. I did put new blinkers on here. I didn't like the ones that it came with. Now I bought this bike used and it did have a different set on it. Also didn't like those either. Turn this on real quick. So I like these right here. I like how they light up. Just shows like a little more because you know I commute a lot like I've said before. So just any little bit of extra visibility I enjoy having. Right here, another highway tool. I do have the Puig windscreen. Now they have this one and then they have a shorter, smaller one, more of a sporty look. I went with this one due to the fact that I'm on the highway a lot. Got my little GoPro mount right there. Um, helps an absolute ton. I love it. 10 out of 10 would recommend if you are doing a lot of highway miles and you just want to get that wind off your chest. I do feel a little bit of buffeting on my head on like the really windy days towards like the top of my face. But other than that, it's really not that bad and it changes everything, guys. So moving down here, this is one of the things I did not put on here. And I honestly don't even know what brand it is, but these frame sliders, um, I have laid the bike down once. It was in a parking lot. It was, it was stupid, but... <laughs> Um, that thing did help, as you can see, kind of like scuffed it up a little bit, but it did its job. Then moving on back here a little bit, I wouldn't really consider this a mod, so to say, just something I did. Um, this piece was silver. I did paint it black. I feel like it looks a whole lot better like that. This is another piece that was on it. I lost the bolt and the paint started chipping, so haven't put that back on yet, but it is what it is. All right, and moving up here, I got some brand new Pro Taper bars I put on there. I did not like the stock grip, so I went with some new ones. These are Scotty brand. I don't know, I'd never really heard of them. I picked them up, picked them up at Cycle Gear. I like how they feel, they work good for me, so I don't regret it. I went ahead and followed Jake the Garden Snake on his little recommendation. I just put safety wire on here in three little spots on both sides, and you know, it's, it's on there really good. I don't, I'm not worried about it moving around or falling off or anything like that. I didn't want to deal with the glue and having to rip it all off and whatnot. So I went with that. I recommend it. Now moving down here, the really nice part, really nice part, full Yoshimura exhaust. Now it is a full system. And this is, if you watched my previous video, I talked about how the exhaust was getting kind of like chalky. This is what I was talking about right here. So. I'm thinking about getting it tuned myself just to see if that makes any kind of difference. Hopefully it does. Um, whenever I bought the bike, I'm not taking the seat off right now, but it does have a power commander under there. Whenever I bought it, it already had that. So it was already tuned by the previous owner. I just want to get it redone to make sure I know everything's up to my standards and how I want it. Moving on back here, we got a simple little tail tidy. I don't even think it has a brand. I tried to swap it out and I ended up having to cut it. And the one I was putting on there ended up not working. So I had to like bend this back and it is what it is. It does the job, gets rid of that huge fender that was on the back. So I'm happy with it. So this right here was another bit I saw on a YouTube video. I was looking for the little adapter thing that you can put through the rear right there. Like the, so you can use this portion of the stands. I didn't want to buy it. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I mean, it works great for me having those little blocks on there. It's on both sides. I haven't had any problems. And so far it's doing just fine for me. So if you want to run it, it's just a basic little stand right there. Hasn't given me any problems at all. So these little blinkers right here are another one for the rear. That's one of the ones that came with the bike. The front actually had these exact same ones, but like I said, I didn't like them. So I'm gonna end up taking those off eventually too. I'm gonna pop, uh, sorry, it's so dirty. I'm gonna pop this piece out right here and I'm gonna run my blinkers through there. I saw one picture where this was just replaced with like a little mesh screen and the light just emitted throughout that entire thing. So I'm gonna try and do that. And I think that'll look a lot better, clean up the tail a little bit more. So I actually already did my whole outro and everything and I completely forgot about one piece little wire poking out right there that is run under the seat it's a little adapter i have heat and glove liners so i have those hooked up to the battery so i can power them up i don't have the just the battery powered ones they're ones i actually have to plug in 
Um, anything I've talked about today, I will link down in the description if you want to get something for yourself. Speaking of the battery real quick, I did end up having to replace it. The old one, the OEM one, pretty much like exploded on me. So that was a good experience. Like I said, anything I talk about today, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna try to get down in the description. If you have any questions, let me know. All right guys, like I said, I don't really have much on here, but that's what I have right now. Uh, one thing I do have on order is a new crash cage by Get Bent Design. Really excited for that to come in. Um, I've said it multiple times in multiple videos. I am gonna start trying to stunt this bike out. So, kind of an important piece right there. I'm not trying to ruin a motorcycle. So, I'm really excited to get that in. Gonna start trying it out. Another thing I'm about to do right now is I'm going to put some thicker fluid in the forks. It's it's just old. I've got a decent amount of miles on this bike. And I probably should have done it already. So probably going to swap out that fluid. I'm thinking about putting thicker, not thicker, but like stiffer springs in there to help absorb some of those impacts. Hopefully it works. I don't really know, but we'll see. One more thing that I want to do is get a new clutch lever. Um, I was looking at RSC. I really like what they have to offer. I looked at Impact Tech as well. Um, I don't know, I just hear more good things about RSC and their levers. So that's the one I'm gonna go with. Um, other than that, guys, I don't really have much. Cage, sub cage, oh, chain sprocket. Uh, I do intend on doing that. I'm probably gonna go to a 54 tooth. Um, I don't know the stock gearing. I'll put it like right there, magic. Um, but I'm gonna bump it up a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna go with the 520. I'm probably just gonna stay at what the chain is right now. Other than that, guys, there's not really much to it. It's pretty simple. Um, just like the subscriber did for this one. If you have any requests on video recommendations that you want me to do, drop them down in the comments, let me know. And then I'm gonna do what I can to get it out there, you know? Um, other than that, if you liked this video, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to see more. If you got any questions, like I said, drop them down in the comments and I will catch y'all next time, guys. Peace.